Oh shit. Whoa. Good timing. No, no, no. Smother that shit up with some peanut. I need more, honestly. Booter. Get my ribs poked, please. We got is a little bit of um, syrup with a side of uh, waffles, whole wheat. We got turkey bacon, gains. Four eggs, one egg white, gains. Gains, 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 gains. Over here, gains. What's up? What's goody? Back on the normal breakfast routine. Normal muffins. Ate them all. They were good. But for right now, we got the whole wheat waffles. Spoiling some syrup. You already know, a little bit tired. I went to bed at like 6 a.m. last night because I just couldn't sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't know what's wrong with me. This should be, there's no excuse to not be tired by 6 a.m. I really don't get it. Um, ran out of ZZ Quail, so I'm probably gonna have to go pick that up later today, later in this video. Uh, hopefully I don't forget. But, um, without further ado, I mean, first meal of the day. We're getting thick, we're getting big, we're getting swole, so let's do it. Let's do it right now. Boom, here's some visuals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, I burnt them a little. Okay, oh, yeah. One eternity later. Oh, give me some of that. Oh, man. Save the day once again. Put that light on. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, let me tell you a few things. One, it's extremely humid and hot out right now. The weather it looks shitty, but it's like hot out, sort of. So I have the windows open, I'm like, it's humid, it's a little muggy in here. Another reason why I really couldn't sleep that last night, well, it definitely didn't help. And yeah, as you can tell, I'm still out of it, man. I, took, I ate all that food and uh, I chilled out for a second, let it digest, but then I was just like, damn. I'm like, damn. So, a little advice, instead of taking naps that are like, you know, could last from like, what, 30 to an hour. Some people take 20 minute naps. Sometimes I just lay down for like 10 minutes. Like set an alarm in case I fall asleep or get like out of it. 10, 15 minutes, man. You just lay down and you don't even like completely fall asleep. Those shits do wonders. I feel a lot better right now even though I look like shit. Even though I look like shit. Thank you, I know. Well aware. Just laying down sometimes and closing your eyes. It does wonders, man. That's what I like to do. But we got a package in. That's your just hell. And that's what I actually set my tripod on. So didn't really think that one out, right? <clears throat> Scissors. Hold that shit open. Ammonia helmets. What are those for, Luke? Be taking those type of things. Uh, just for like a little, a little extra oof. When I'm going for like a max PR. You guys saw me take those shits in the summers. Order these things on Amazon. That's like 10 bucks a pop, 5 bucks a pop, something like that. I'm transparent with you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be like, I'm not sniffing something to help me get fucked. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that's what these are. Use them for like other things. If someone's like passed out, can't wake up. But just get you wired. I'm not gonna use them today because my back is still eh. And even though I'm squatting, you don't. Just don't ever like. You know, depend on these things to get a PR. It's just like something nice to have in case you're just like not really feeling that like adrenaline aggression to, to like go for those crazy ass weeds. Don't recommend taking them. I don't take them at all usually, but it's felt like picking them up in case I feel like it. And uh, yeah, I sound I'm talking really slow, a little out of it. Let's just get hype. Let's just get hyped together. I'm gonna turn up a little bit. Get the pre-workout on deck. You already know. So let's just keep doing it. It's your boy Luke Elsman, <laughs> aka Luke the Score Elsman. Make sure you follow your boy on Instagram. You already know me. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you guys are new. What the hell are you guys doing? My last video, I edited that up last night. Shit's a banger. Make sure you go check out the last video because I edited that one up. Shit's going up tomorrow. You don't really know the schedule, but in my head, I'm like, yo, check that one out. Make sure. It's a banger. <sighs>
stretches. You already know, typical Monday routine. But it just might be a little extra boring today because due to the little back incident, uh, last squat session where I just went really heavy, I didn't record that one, but uh, yeah, really irritated my back a little bit. And it's something like super insane. Uh, it doesn't like hurt right now or anything like that, but like, you know, at, like when you get to like the really high number, 315 even, 405, I just don't want to risk, you know, just having this, this uh, what's the word for it? I just don't want to have to, I just don't want it to keep happening again, basically. And I, there's no point to it. I don't really care to go heavy. I can miss a day of squats. Gotta understand that it's not always about going heavy. And uh, yeah, that's basically pretty, pretty much it. So I'm gonna put a belt on, put 225 on, and see how that feels. Maybe I'll go a little heavier. Maybe I'll stick with that, do very high volume. Just nice and slow and controlled, get that blood flowing. Maybe put some weight on the leg press and do supersets. So it's practically cardio and just crazy hypertrophy. So that's what I'm probably gonna shoot for today. I don't really care about going heavy. I'm not really trying to re-injure this bitch right here. So it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It's a very sensitive spot. And even though I could lift heavy in other like in other lifts like you know bench press or if I'm doing like you know certain back exercises, it's I but like squats is where it started. So gotta be careful, gotta be safe, gotta be cool, and uh, let's just do it. Woo! All right, guys, sticking with the 225. I get the plates on the leg press. We're about to do hella reps, a decent amount of sets. It's a big cardio, it's gonna be brutal. Screw the weight for today, it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal, we're gonna live. minutes later but avoiding injury don't push the grit the weight aggressively that's when you pull some shit you don't want to do that This is tough, that's just tough. Let's keep going. I'm gonna shoot for like four or five sets. It's gonna be mostly the workout, but let's do that shit, baby. Superset it with 20 reps, like 15 to 20 reps. I honestly wasn't even counting. I was just going until my legs just couldn't even push any more weight, pretty much. So I did five sets of that superset, but I close to like 200 reps in a pretty short amount of time, either. Why am I talking so weird right now? In a pretty short amount of time, so it was a pretty good workout. It was pretty much like cardio. It's getting a lot of blood flow to the legs, like bodybuilding type style. I only recorded two steps because, like, who the hell wants to see the same shit over and over again? I wasn't changing the weight or anything like that. So, yes, now finish up with hamstring. Hamstring. Talking mad fast, gather your quad thoughts. Quad extensions, hitting some quad extensions, superset it with uh, ab roller. So we're doing that, we're gonna wrap it up. Pretty simple workout, pretty quick, and uh, yeah baby, let's do it. Mmm, got my way, got my way. Oh yeah! Vegan. Holy shit! 
God damn it. Eat big, get big, God damn it. shit. All that good carbs, baby. A lot of good carbs in that shit. It's a bulk meal for show, sure, but it ain't nothing crazy. It's not like super unhealthy like Burger King or some shit, so you should be proud of me. Proud of your boy, because this is... This is not too shabby. And fun fact, I actually very, very much enjoy white rice. Like, I think white rice, honestly, doesn't really have a lot of flavor, but something about I like it. I can eat it. I, I know you're going to be like, oh, well, bodybuilding is like, you eat it all the time, and you wouldn't like it if you ate it all the time. Probably not, but, um, I thought that's even relevant. But, uh, yeah, I like white rice for the most part. Then we got some potatoes. My mom cooked this shit up a little earlier today. So this shit is, mmm, mmm, absolutely uh, scrumptious. I'm so excited. I'm hungry. Solid leg sesh, as you guys know. Just hypertrophy, man. Pump some blood in these bad boys. Yeah, I'm about to devour this and then run out really quick for you know what? Because you, your boy, has some issues, man. I swear, every time I come to Walmart, I have to pee. God damn it. Like how me have 22 in a me something Then I feel so forget the next thought of food Press chigga me no press people bun You know you gotta get the bread, you know what I'm saying? By far my favorite Bread, honestly, and I ran across that on accident that one day, I swear to god Ugh. Just had to grab the essentials That you guys are all so aware of, pretty much all the same stuff all the time I show you like every other week, so it's not like anything You guys are not aware of, but uh Dude, it's like nice as hell outside. It's a vibey. It's like it's pretty warm out. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like being down the shore back in New Jersey days, and like that cool like uh, beach weather, like at night, like that breeze. That's what it kind of reminds me. I'm in a tank top right now. Maybe a little bit warmer, obviously, especially in the summer. But like, it's just wow, it feels nice, man. I love that shit. I love that feeling. All right, let's go home. <laughs> I talk too much, right? Alright, so really quickly, I just want to touch up on something really small, but also could be really big. Because I know a lot of you guys are with me with this. I know a lot of you guys struggle the same way I do with sleep. And I'm going to tell you, honestly, it sucks. It's not, it, it's not frustrating. I'm not super, super worried about being so exhausted. I'm just, it's like stressful, man. It's just like, it's frustrating at night when you just want to sleep. Just get it over with. You know you got to sleep. You know you got to get that REM shit and, you know, recover the muscles and whatever. Whatever, holy crap, it is hot. And when I start to talk, you get even hotter. You already know. I'm not just trying to be a douche, even though, well, but, um, yeah, guys, I know a lot of you guys probably can't sleep either. It could just be, like, the huge amount of caffeine and stimulant intake when you guys are lifting and shit, and that's still lingering, lingering around in your body, like, in the depths of the night, and you feel like, damn, I got some, like, insomnia-ass shit going on. Like, it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's annoying. It's frustrating. These are my go-tos. Honestly, they actually work for the most part. It could be some placebo shit going on in my head, like, oh, I drank this, and now I feel more tired. I don't care. I just don't care. I don't care what it is about these things but they work for me they get me to sleep they get me to pass out i actually want to sleep and i love them and when i don't have them literally like the days i run out it's like a struggle city like i'm wide awake i'm always thinking about shit and this bullshit you know so zz quill or just the cheaper version this i got this honestly because it's just like there in case these runs out and whatnot but i just want to throw that in there it's a little tip because man uh it's a struggle trying to sleep sometimes it's just more frustrating than anything when i'm just laying in bed and then and another thing uh, i just want to talk about is my squat sesh today it is just super nice for my leg sesh it's just super nice to like for me at least for how long i've been lifting like don't worry about like always having to go heavier or going super super hard pushing your limits because it's just what your body wants it wants it, what, it, what, it's, what it needs just take it easy you don't need to go super heavy and like be lifting as long as i have like i appreciate those hypertrophy days or just the really high volume days instead of just like mentally it's like mentally stressful sometimes when you're trying to push yourself to like the really maximum weight max reps you know going under that bar with 500 plus pounds it's, it could be mentally draining so like to take a day take a squat day or leg day off and just do hypertrophy it was nice it was nice just to get that pumped get that blood flowing and yeah you already know so don't overthink it don't stress it if your back hurts or your legs or something like whatever it may be and you feel like you just have to take it easy don't 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 
Dude, it happens to everybody. Everyone has minor setbacks or slight, you know, issues here and there. It's all a part of the journey. So just want to throw that out there for all y'all that are just, you know, feeling the same way I am. But I've been lifting a while, so I appreciate those uh simpler hypertrophy days because sometimes it go so hard and can be stre like mentally stressful and for a lifter. But um, yeah, guys. With all that being said, I'm gonna cut the video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed everything I put together today. It's Monday. It's Monday. Give me a break. <laughs> but remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. You already know. Come on. You already know. Uh, uh, follow your boy on Instagram, Luke underscore Elsman. And you already know. Post it in the live. I say oh, you already know. It's way too much, man. You gotta shut up, Luke. Okay, man. Barbell apparel. Athlete. You want anything? 10% off. Elsman. Links in the description. You know that. All the links you need to know is in the description. Otherwise, guys, it's been your boy Luke. Peace out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <coughs> what?